For many years now, Kenya has been the third largest tea producer in the world. Almost all of the tea grown in the country is exported. Black tea makes the bulk of all the exports, but some Kenyan farmers have not begun growing a new variety of tea. This is the purple tea. On this week's edition of The Next Frontier, Philip Kitani tells us more about this new tea variety and how it helps farmers diversify and turn a healthy profit. Over the years, the picturesque highlands of Kenya's Great Rift Valley and the slopes of Mount Kenya have been known by the green rolling fields of the green tea that has set Kenya apart on the globe as the home of high-quality black tea. However, some of these fields, though, are now darkened with patches of purple. The purple come from the leaves with high levels of anthocyanins, a natural pigment that gives the granberries and blueberries and the grapes their color. These purple leaves are Africa's newest and most intriguing tea. Welcome to the home of purple tea. One of the uh, clones that have been developed latest is about the purple tea, which you can see uh, behind me here. But the market for black tea is getting saturated, with global competition getting stiff and auction prices becoming volatile. However, over the last two years, prices have been down to near historic lows as record harvest left a glut in the market. Currently we pay the uh, purple tea growers 100 shillings per kilo, which um, yeah, ideally is um, double what um, you'd pay normal. No more green leaf. Now the Kenya researchers have developed a new variety of tea, the purple tea, which was first grown near Mount Kenya after years of research. This variety of tea was found to grow successfully in the rich volcanic mountain soil. It is a very healthy uh, product. You can take it regularly, of course, without uh, addition of sugar and milk and you reduce the lifestyle diseases. The new hybrid tea is said to be high yielding, contain properties to make it resistant to drought, frost, and certain natural pests, and has large leaves, making hand plucking easy. All, all the teas, either green or black, has uh, antioxidants. But this one has more antioxidants than the green ones. At the moment, only one of KTDA's factories is able to handle the new leaves, but purple tea accounts for only a thin fraction of the factory's annual output. Growers elsewhere in Kenya are generally forced to have theirs processed along the standard black CTCT, but that could soon change. KTDA plans to set up small processing plants to handle the first crop of purple tea that farmers have planted. Good market um, in the USA. Uh, Europe is coming up pretty well. Uh, there's also good interest coming up strongly in China uh, for different uh, shape teas, the ball shapes. It's quite an interesting new tea from a taste perspective. The tea has flavors similar to both black teas and green teas. Philip Keitan for The Next Frontier.